Oke. Okay. <coughs> Hello everyone. Hope everyone is having a good day. Uh, you know, a good uh, Sunday. Yeah, it is Sunday today. A good Sunday morning, evening, afternoon. Well, a good day in general. Today we continue with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, post game. Uh, if I remember, we were going into a sort of nightmare. Uh, we were having ourselves some weird dreams with Cresselia about space. Uh, like something wrong going on in space and that we are the problem and we need to disappear. And suddenly, uh, Azorel is having some sort of nightmares and can wake up. So we are going into Azorel's nightmare with the help of Drowsy, the one we ended up the the one that we defeated at the beginning of the game. Yeah, that one. And yeah, pretty much. <coughs> pretty much that will be today. And we are actually getting closer to the end of the boss game, from what I'm seeing. Like, uh, I so I checked on Bulbapedia, and there are two more dungeons to go after the, the nightmare, from what I'm seeing. So yeah, we're getting closer to the end of this. Wonder where, maybe we can do something else, pick up another game or something. We'll see. After this ends. <coughs> but when that happens, we'll see. But uh, yeah, other than that, very much. That will be it. So let's get into the game already, shall we? Okay. There we go. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, we did the Reggie dungeon too. We are seeing the icon there. Uh, and now we are supposed to go to a sort of nightmare. I think we're all set on items and everything. Yeah. I think we're good. We don't have anything to do. Like, right now. I think we're good. Uh, okay. Although, just in case, want to check here at least. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. And let's go right away to the nightmare. Okay. Oh, are you two ready to go into the dream? Ready. Now from what I've seen there are like 70 floors on this one, but it's not really that hard, so I guess we'll be fine. I'm going to send you into a solo stream. Here goes. Is this inside the dream? Markip, Protag, can you hear me? It's me, Drowsy. Yes, we hear you. Good. It sounds like you're safely inside. As I said before, there's something very bad about this dream. I don't think I need to remind you, but be careful in there. Okay, thanks, Drowsy. Let's get going. Into the dream. Okay, the nightmare. Alright, come on. Clefairy. Wait, hold up. Okay. Ow. We get a lot of EXP here. So that's something. I think I'm seeing a wolf at the yeah. end. 
I am seeing a warfare. Counter. Damn it. Okay. All right, to the next stairs. Okay. Ow. Uh, man. This is filled with traps. Okay. Fourth floor. We're getting there quickly. Okay. Hmm. Money. Another. What? This is just full of traps. Ooh, a seat. Blinker seat. Don't need it. Okay. Fifth floor. Okay. I only have two max elixir here right now. Whoops. I guess I will have to stack on those. Sleep seat, we'll take that. Okay. <laughs> Man. Okay, we'll just continue. Six four. Come on. Ah, spin down. Okay. Eagle buff. Okay. <laughs> A food item went bad. This is basically the trap dungeon right now because it's so full of traps. A wish more. Okay, seventh floor. Ten floors left. Come on. Okay. Mm, maybe here? Around here, probably? No. Yes, that dead end. Yes, that dead end. Never mind. We'll go here. Okay, uh. Let's do this. Oh, there you are. Eighth floor. And let's go right into the next one. Floor number nine. Okay, that's a lot. Ooh, Blissey. That's a lot of e EXP. That's a lot. Okay, nothing here. Well then. Okay, guess I'll do it myself. There we go. By the way, how far am I to level up? Okay, we still have a way. We still have ways to go. 
And it all happens because I got a doomsit by an enemy. I ate a doomsit that was thrown by an enemy and now I'm a level lower that I should be. Ah, damn it. Okay, 10th floor. Okay. Nope. That doesn't work. An exercise seat. Don't need that. And there was another trap. Go figure. Okay. Jeez. There's just a lot. This is just the, the trap room. The trap dungeon. Just filled with traps. This is just filled with traps. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here. Seriously? Getting hungry. Yeah, I imagine. Safeguard. Can't use feign attack. Hell no. Ow. Not another wolf head. God damn it. And I missed uh, no, my junior. The Sydney Bond. Okay. God damn it. Why? There's so many. This is not normal. Yeah, you run out of water pulse figures. Yeah, I imagine. Come on, just die already. I just want to get out of here already. Just filled with traps. <laughs> I just want this to be over. Come on, stairs. Show yourself. There you are. Twelfth floor. Yeah. Okay, shiny box. Sure. Really? Really? A monster house? A 
of all places a monster house. What else is left? You know what? Fuck it. This is just too much bad luck for this. Like seriously. So many drops. Sticky items. Cannot use them. Wolf it. I hate it. This is going to be a bit of a pain. If this is going to be <laughs> for just 70 floors. 17 floors. Not 70. <sighs> Come on. Come on. At least this is quick. Okay, straight to the full to the stairs. Perfect. Second floor. Okay. Okay. Side beam. Third floor. Let's go. Nothing here. <laughs> really? We are starting again with this. Okay. Hello, and you're dead. Okay, come on. Bad idea. I'll just return. There we go. Uh, swallowed. Okay, six floor. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Why? Right on the stairs. 
Well, at least from what I've seen, there's only one wolf to worry about. The rest can be taken care of very easily. So let's take out the few first. Oh. Okay. Lucky chant. Okay. Guess I gotta revive, I guess. Okay. Almost done. And I get poison draw, of course. Okay, you are next. Come on. Okay. You are down. Okay, perfect. You can get out of here. So I have five revivers is left. That's all we have left. Okay. Eighth floor. Let's go. Okay, nothing here. Thank you. 
Come on. We'll take that, we'll take that. I needed the max elixir since we are low on that in the back. Okay. Eleventh floor, getting closer. Getting slowly closer. Twelfth floor, come on. Okay, another box. Okay, please see. Okay. All right. Now we need to find the stairs. There they are. 13th floor. Almost there. 14. Right next to Persian. Sure. Fifteen. We can do this. Okay, we're almost close to level up to Okay. Come on. Leveled up. Forty three. Come on.
Where are the stairs? Not the stuff is track. Come on. We are so close now. Come on. Another licky licky. You there? Yes, where are the stairs? There they are. Seventeen. This should be the last one. So, there they are. Getting hungry. But we reached the end. The nightmare deaths. There we are. Alright, second try. We gone pretty deep in here. It appears as if it's just one long path from here. Let's keep going a little more. Whoa! What's happening? You, how did, how did you get here? There's someone here. Who is it? Where are you? Show yourself. I am. Um, what? You, you're. I am um, Cresselia. Cresselia, it's Cresselia, the one from my dreams. I cannot fathom how you've come here, but I find your visit ever so convenient. I've longed to meet both of you. Cresselia? So my dreams... They weren't these ordinary dreams after all. What? Then what I saw in my dreams? Yes. What I told you in your dreams is true. You two are not supposed to exist in this world. What are you... You two? I suspected this. That you and I were having the same dreams. I went to the future. Then I came back to this world. And it's causing the destruction of this world. So Gracelia said in my dreams. So it wasn't just me that had those dreams. And Marky is the same as I am. Marky is another person that must not exist in this world. Gracelia said that to Marky too. Excuse me, Gracelia. Could you explain something for us? I traveled to the future and came back again. And Protag was a human who came from the future. You said that we're causing the distortion in the fabric of space in our world. If space itself becomes distorted, why will the world be destroyed? If the distortion in the fabric of space expands, the power of darkness will expand as well. Eventually, the world will become enveloped within a nightmare. Enveloped within a nightmare? Yes. Do you know where we are at this very moment? Well, we're in a sort of stream, aren't we? That is correct. More precisely, we are in Azurul's nightmare. Azurul will remain trapped by the nightmare, never to awaken again. This nightmare will eventually creep across the world. For now, only Azurul is afflicted with this nightmare. But soon other Pokémon will be drawn in by the nightmare's widening web. More and more Pokémon will fall into the unending sleep. And ultimately, all Pokémon will be locked in this nightmare without end. All Pokemon. Hey, Cresselia. What will it take to get rid of the distortion of, in the fabric of space? How can the space distortion be eliminated? There is a bad one way to eliminate the distortion. That is, for you to disappear. What? Disappear? Us? I have been waiting for this opportunity. The opportunity to make you disappear. What? Wait a second. We don't want to disappear. We want to know more about what's happening. So you would rather see all Pokemon swallowed up by the nightmare? That's not... That isn't what I want. Cresselia, is this really true? If we disappear, will the world really be saved? Yes, it will be saved. 
for it is only your existence that is driving the world to ruin. Ugh. I'm very sorry that I must do this. Prepare to disappear. It must be done. The world must be saved. Oh no. Hey! Hello? Protec? And Markip? Where are you? Ugh. Interrupted. And my work here was nearly finished. It was interrupted this time. But I will see to it that you too disappear. Of course, if you wish to save the world on your own, you should consider making yourselves disappear first. Farewell. <sighs> that was close. Hey, so here you are. Drowsy, why are you here? You were taking so long to come back. I got worried. I decided to be brave and came looking for you. There is nothing dangerous about this place. We shouldn't stay here. Let's go back to the guild for the time being. Would you like to save? Yep, please. Second try for this dungeon. Save completed. I see. So you encountered Cresselia. And she said that Azorus' nightmare is caused by the distortion in the fabric of space. Yes. If nothing is done about it, all Pokemon will join Azorus in an ending sleep. That is what Cresselia said. Yes. Quack! If that's all true, this is terrible trouble. Do be sure. We've got to do something. So, Chatot, what do you know about Cresselia? I know the Pokemon, but only from rumors. It is said Cresselia appears only during the night of the quarter moon. It is also said that this Pokemon can heal others' emotional scars simply with a gentle light from her body. Uh, she didn't seem so kindly. There is one more thing about Cresselia. This Pokemon is said to possess a mystical power that can banish darkness. The power to banish darkness. Hey hey, so let's get this straight. If we don't do something, all the Pokemon in the world are going to fall asleep forever. Hey hey, that means we have to do something now to fix the space distortion. Hey Markip, did Cresselia say anything about how the distortion of space can be stopped? What? Uh, how to stop the distortion of space? Ah, why are you so jumpy? Did I ask something weird? No, it's not what you said. Sorry, I was thinking about something else. So, uh, a way of stopping the distortion of space. Um, nope. I don't remember Cresselia saying a single thing about that. Ah, I see. That is unfortunate. Well, anyway. Let's look into the distortion of space together. If we don't, we won't be able to stop the nightmare from spreading. Chadot? Yes, Killmaster. Alright, everyone. Well, this plan for the day. Uh, starting tomorrow, you are to individually investigate the distortion of space itself. Yup, yup. We'll do. Alright, dismissed. Uh, when we were back at the guild, Drowsy asked us if we knew how the distortion of space could be stopped. I lied. I didn't even think twice about it. As we know, there is a way to stop the distortion. The only solution is for us to disappear from this world. I just couldn't bring myself to say it. But, is this something I really must tell everyone about? Hey, what should we do now? If we were to disappear, will the world be saved? In that case, maybe that's the best thing to do. Oh, Markip. Ah, uh, I can't take this. All this worrying has made me tired. Let's get some sleep. Sleep. Markib is already asleep, I guess. 
but I have to wonder. I understand that we're causing the distortion of space. But how that leads to the world's ruin? I still can't believe it. <coughs> I thought it was just merely something from a dream that first time. But then with the second dream, when I was told about the distortion of space, that was when I started thinking that maybe it was true. Hey, come to think of it, the morning after I had that dream, Marcus said to me, Why are you daydreaming? It's not like you. Come on, let's see some energy. Marcus is even peppier than usual, but Marcus could be right. Marcus was unusual a bit then. But Margaret had just woke up from the same dream of our crusade that I had. At that moment, Margaret must have been acting extra cheerful around me. Because Margaret suspected that I had just had the same dream. And tried to cheer me up. Margaret had to have been frightened. But Margaret was much more concerned about me. Then in a sort of nightmare, what Cresselia said, and what she tried to do. I felt crushed by that, but... But... But, that's why. I have to keep my spirits strong. My spirits. Strong. Spirits. Eh, we fell asleep. Nighttime still. Hmm? <coughs> hmm? keep isn't here. Maybe outside? <coughs> so, you're awake too, huh? I couldn't sleep at all. Hey. Can we be allowed to stay? Can we stay in this world? When we fought Dialga at Temporal Tower, you thought even though you know that you would disappear, because even if you were to disappear, you thought that would save the world. That's why you did it, right? If that's the case, maybe you should do that this time too. Markiv, it's true that I fought Dialga knowing that I would disappear if we succeeded. But that had to be done to prevent the Polanis paralysis. Back then, I was willing to disappear if it meant saving the world. I feel the same this time too. But is this situation really the same? But something... Something feels different this time around. Oh, Protek, what do you think? Should we really disappear from this world? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? You must be thinking that maybe we ought to disappear. Well then... But something is... weird. What? You think something's weird? What is? What's weird? Everything Cresselia said. What exactly was odd about what Cresselia said? Well, we separately found out that we are causing the space distortion wall at Luminous Spring too. And if Azor is gonna wake up from his nightmare because of the distortion, Well, I think we have to believe what we were told. Uh, that is true. Or something. Something is different about the Sabrina this time around. I know something is different. But what is it? I need to think carefully. That's it. That's right. This is different from before. Back then with the Alga, my Sabrina wasn't really a choice. I've got to explain that to Markip. What? It's different this time? What's... what's different? What? At Temple of Tower you are willing to disappear. But it's not the same this time? What? You did what you did at Temple of Tower because you had to. You changed your future because you knew that it would lead to a world peace. 
But your choice wasn't really the choice to disappear. But there's no telling what will happen if we disappear. Not this time. So we don't really know if that will bring peace to the world again. Man, I I don't know why I, I just can't stop yawning today. Oh well. <coughs> I need to stay awake. And I am awake. Come on. What you're saying is, nothing about this is certain? That's true. It's true that things aren't completely certain. But... It is a fact that you were a human who came from the future. And I did go to the future and then come back to this world. And it does seem that, because of us, space has started to distort. There's no escaping the fact that we changed history. That must be what we were told is true. Markip. Oh. It's sunlight. The sun's coming up. It's beautiful. It's another beautiful dawn. Oh, Protag. Seeing the sun come up this way makes me remember. I've seen the sun rise from here before. This isn't the first time. The first time I was with Grovile. With Grovile? Yes. Remember when we first came back from the future? We slept here? That's when I saw the sun rise from here for the first time. I just remember something about that first time. It's something Grovile asked me. But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. That co what compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? I didn't give up when we were trying to escape from the future. I guess that struck Grovile as being strange. That's why Grovile asked me why I refused to give up. But I didn't know how to answer. I didn't know why I was brave then. But I thought about it and I began to realize something. Well, I wonder too. I really don't know. But maybe. Maybe it was because Protag stood by me. Protag. That was it. I managed to be brave because you were always with me. That was when I finally realized that. And that's what I told Grovile. Just before we lost Grovile in the hidden land. Markip, this is it for me. I'm taking Dasnor back to the future. Huh? What? I can never come back here again. Watch Protax back. Promise me. But, take your place, Grovile. I can't. You must and you will. Because you can, Markip. You two are the greatest of combinations. Roval entrusted me with this last wish. I'm ashamed. Oh, Protag, if you're not giving up, I won't give up either. Markip. There must be something that we can still do about this. There has to be a way of fixing things. A way that doesn't involve having to disappear. That's right. That's the mark I know. We have to keep going, Protag. Let's find a way out of this. Yep. <coughs> oh, Protag. I was just thinking. It was time that was being destroyed before, right? And now the very fabric of space has become distorted. A destruction of time and the destruction of space. I can't begin to convince of such things, or to conceive of such things. But these troubles of time and space, I have a feeling that they are related. Time and space, a possible connection? Do you remember when time was breaking down? Lapras gave us a lot of insight into Temporal Tower. So about this destruction of space, do you think Lapras may know something about it? Lapras? Well, actually... It wouldn't be unusual if Labras didn't know something about this. I thought you'd think so too. <coughs> well then, that's all it. Let's go see Labras. Labras will be at the beach. 
So let's hurry to the beach. All right. Okay, but first. First things first. Persian cloth. Blasto cloth. Eagle dew. That's it. Okay. Yep. Stored away. By the way, did we have an egg again? I can't remember. Yeah. The egg hatch, a healthy widow. Okay. Let's use the gummies. One for me. A good feeling about the drink, okay. Another good feeling about the tree. Okay. All right. By the way, anything new? Oh. Did you hear the happy news? Okay. New discovery. Treasure about discover higher grade of recycled items. <coughs> so, what are the items? A gold ticket. Okay. Let's redeem it, let's see what is in it, in this ticket, blue. Let's see what this ticket has. Is it a win or not? Wait, don't tell me. Is it a big win? Oh. Don't tell me. It's a loss, right? That's right. Hey, why not calm down? Sorry to have gotten your hopes up. Why not take this consolation prize? Skateboard. What it was the offer? Protein. <coughs> okay. Let's see if we can check on the gold run. Okay. No, no, secret scarf, no, no, and uh, no. 
Okay. Well, let's go to Labras then. Uh, let's do a quick save here. Excuse me, Lapras. There's something we'd like to ask you. We're investigating the distortion in the fabric of space. The distortion of space itself. Yes, and would like to learn anything that you might know about it, Lapras. Hmm. Can you help us? Do you know anything? I'm sorry to say. I don't know anything about the space distortions. Oh, I see. However, I do know of a being that embodies space itself. What? A being that embodies space itself? Yeah. Yes. Time and space are deeply connected. So just as the other governs time itself, so too there is a being that governs the fabric of space. That being. Who is it? Its name is Palkia. <coughs> This being is said to possess the ability to distort space itself. And a spatial rift is said to be its domain. The being that governs space, Palkia, another being, like the Alga. If we meet Palkia, we might be able to learn more about the space distortions. So, uh, how do we get to a spatial rift? Can you travel there, Lapras? Just like you can go to the human land? I hate to disappoint, but I can't travel to Special Rift. I don't even know what it is. That is all I can tell you. Ah, uh, alright. I'm sorry, Markip. I'm sorry that I'm not much help. No, no. Not at all. Learning about the system of Palkia is a big help for us. Thank you, Lapras. We'll investigate on our own from now. So basically, Lapras didn't know much about the distortion of space, but he did tell us that Palkia controls space itself, and that this being dwells in spatial rift. Palkia? If we can meet with Palkia, we will be able to ask about the distortion of space. But we don't have a clue as to where spatial rift is. Hmm, I guess there isn't any point in worrying about it right now. Let's continue to investigate this tomorrow. There's no giving up now. Oh, tremors. What? Well, I have found you at last. The defilers were causing the distortion of space. Who are you? I am Palkia. I hold sway over space. I have dominion over dimension. Palkia? You are Palkia? You cannot escape now. This is the end of you. Oh boy. Ah. Where is this? This is my domain. Spatial Rift. What? This is a special rift? You dare distort space without my permission. I will be rid of you now. What? This is the end. Ah, what are you doing? There's absolutely nothing behind us. Ah, they fell. However, there is no escaping me. Uh oh. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, are you okay? It looks like we landed somewhere else. But this is all such a shock. 
California things will turn out this way. I don't understand. Why did Parker suddenly attack us? He seemed to be blowing about the distortion of space. Palkia. Palkia seemed to know that we caused the distortion of space. And then he attacked us. But I don't understand why. There's no mistake in one thing. Palkia is trying to get rid of us. He might attempt another attack. We should get out of here as soon as we can. Let's go as soon as we're ready. Okay. First off. Okay. There we go. Stacked on Reviver Seeds and Max Elixirs. Let's save. Okay, uh, let's check. How far is it? 25 floors. Okay. We have to do this. Save completed. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, we're all set to go. Okay, let's go. Alright, we got a box. Fourth floor. Okay. Okay, nifty box. Six floor. Oops. All right.
Come on. There you are. And I got teleported back. And now, Markip. Okay, hey floor. Okay, level forty four for Markip. Okay, blinker seed. Don't need that. Ninth floor. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, you know what? Uh, let me just take a quick break right here in the middle of it. No worry, nothing bad will happen really. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to eat something right now. Instead of later, because I have no idea how long this will take. So uh, yeah, be right back in a couple of minutes. We'll continue with the dungeon later. Grab something to eat, all the stuff. Be right back.
Alright, <coughs> I am back. So let's get back into the game. There we go. Alright, let's proceed. Okay. Quick seats, really. Okay. Uh, okay. Here you are. Fifteen. No, fourteen. Sorry. Not yet. Okay. Now we are on floor 15 and there are changes. Quick seed and doom seed. Oh, there is a fab weapon here. All right. <coughs> All right, we're safe. And we continue. Deep Spatial Rift Yeah Okay So we got 15 So there are 12, 25 10 floors left 10 floors left Well, out of sight.
<clears throat> well then, here we are with the with the traps again. floor I'll get that end here. Just at that end, so let's go down. There you are. Fifth floor. Have with through. Ow. That hurts. Yeah, that won't work. But damn it. New move. Extra sensory. Mm. Inflicts damage on the target. It may also afflict the targeted enemy with a green status condition, which makes its actions fail. Okay, I will take out Quick Attack. I will sacrifice Quick Attack. Well, at least we have a lot of reviver seeds. At least. Okay, sixth floor. And it was a great. Okay, seventh floor. Okay. <coughs> Eighth floor. Come on. Almost there.
Ninth floor. Tenth floor, there we are. Special rift bottom. Now it's time to fight Palkia. Huh. Product, over there. It's a dead end. What should we do? We can't go any farther. Whoa, Kramers! Palkia! Your resistance is, is useless. You will never escape from this place. Uh. I will reveal why. It is your fate. To be obliterated by me. Here comes. We have to fight. This is it. <coughs> Alright. I have no idea if the slipses will work here. Okay, you're in front of me now. Yeah, it works. It's time for the same tactic as always. Sleep seat? No, you have an intimidator. Sleep seat. And attack. Sleep seat. And attack. Sleep seat. And attack. And Nico confused. Okay, flame throw what it is. Very confused. Okay. Oh, you just a sleep seat. Okay. Uh, you do you. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we somehow won. We just kept on confusing him and we only used a sleep seat once. And the second one was Dutch. Okay, we won. Huh? Palkia. Palkia has stopped moving. What happened to him? Palkia has been... Palkia has been enveloped by the nightmare. Just as Azorul has. A voice. Where is it coming from? Who are you? What do you mean Palkia has been enveloped by a nightmare? It means that the power of darkness has spread so much farther. If it cross remains unchecked, the world will become drowned in darkness. But you too. Will you to enter Palkia's nightmare? What? Palkia's nightmare? <coughs> yes. By entering his nightmare, you will learn why Palkia attacks you. So what will you do? What will we do? Should we go into the nightmare? Yeah. Fine. You've decided. I will send you into Palkia's nightmare. Would you like to save? Yes, please. Man, we kinda went with a lot of luck there with the confusion there. <laughs> Didn't expect that. 
Hey, Palkia. You too? What are you doing in my dreams? No, I remember. We battled. So why am I? Dreaming. You've been enveloped by a nightmare, Palkia. What? What did you say? I'm... in a nightmare. Ah. This proves it. You both should not exist. Ah, Palkia! Wait a second. We want to ask you something. Palkia, why are you trying to get rid of us? You dare pretend that you don't know? You are distorting space with reckless abandon. If the distortion spreads, the power of darkness will grow. The world will become drowned. No, the world will be drowned in this nightmare of darkness. To prevent it, you must be wiped from this existence. Ah, but there must be. There must be some other way. You govern space and dimension, don't you, Palkia? Can't you correct the distortion of space yourself? It is true that I can spend space to my will, but for the first time ever, I am unable to control a part of space. Worse still, the distortion of space is amplifying. This is all you're doing. There is now but one way to save the world, and that is for you to be erased from this world forever. Uh, Palkia is saying the same thing Cresselia said. Oh, Protag. Cresselia was telling us the truth after all. Maybe they're right about us. Maybe we do have to disappear. Mark it. I feel sorry for you. But this must be done to preserve peace. Please understand. Palkia. Ah, here you are. I found you at last. Cresselia. The spray in darkness engulfs even this place. You must be eliminated as soon as possible. Before we finally pass the point of no return. Ah, uh, Protag. We refused to give up. We did what we could. After everything we did. Was it all for nothing? Was the lot of effort a waste? So are you ready for your end? Ah, uh, Cresselia. One moment. Tell us one last thing. If we disappear, will the world tr really and truly be saved? Yes, it absolutely will. The world will be saved. It's beyond a shadow of a doubt. Are you finally satisfied? Yes, if we must. If we really must disappear. If that will save the world. After so much, Marcus' will is starting to sway. And... So is mine. But is this truly and absolutely the correct course of action? Wait, Cresselia. Blinded by fury, I attacked them earlier. But upon seeing them now, they do not seem driven by malice or wickedness. In my dreams, Cresselia, you insisted that they were bad. But are they truly bad? Cresselia said that about us? In Palkia's dreams? Don't be fooled by appearances, Palkia. If we get rid of them now, all will be saved. So just like we did, Palkia made Cresselia in his dreams. But now Palkia is growing suspicious. Something is very wrong here. All this is based on what Cresselia claims. Enough. I will be rid of you now. Markip, don't abandon hope. Now take this. Yes, that's exactly it. Never abandon hope. <laughs> what? Two of them? There's a second... Cresselia. What? What? What is this? Who is this? Excellent. I was just in time. Bless you, Cresselia. I've been foiled. Just as I was about to dispose of those meddlers once and for all. Please listen, Prodak, Markip, and Valkia. You have been misled all this time. By Dark right there. What? The Cresselia you thought you knew until now was not me. That false Cresselia was nothing more than an illusion made by Dark Cry. It was merely a mockery of me. What? The Cresselia we knew up to now? 
was just a fake? Dark cry. You seen any loves read of the care of me to deceive others. It's so typical of you. But you usually never bring your actual self out of hiding. You normally operate under cover of darkness. That you're personally emerged from the shadows to dispose of these two. That is so very unlike you. You too, behind Cresselia. What? Us? Correct. Pay close attention. Now, the only the one truly responsible for exploiting the space distortion was riding the world in nightmare. It is my doing. Mine alone. What? What did you say? You are more than welcome to try and stop me. Come to me in the Dark Raider. You are not getting away, Dark Ray. Dark Ray vanished. You cannot catch me, Cresselia. Not ever. You too. I shall be waiting in the Dark Raider. Dark Raider. Man, I guess we'll reach the end much sooner than I thought. Save completed. Maril! Azurel, that's great! You woke up from your nightmare. Yup. You did it, Miss Cresselia. Thank you so much. And Mr. Drowsy too. Huh? Me? Thank you very much, Mr. Drowsy. Mr. Drowsy, I have to thank you too. You stayed to, to take care of us all this whole time. Thank you so very much. Well, Shax, is the least I could do. Listen, Cresselia. What happened to Palkia? Palkia is immersed within a special rift, a spatial rift. For his attention to take care of the distortion of space. As the being that governs space itself, he is taking his pride on success. Given that duty, I would not expect to see him manifest here again. Well done. How remarkable. It's truly really quite marvelous. Marvelous indeed, Cresselia. We heard of your power to dispel darkness, but only in rumor. But it was all true. I must say, this is completely marvelous. I understand. You used your power when we were in Palkia's nightmare. That's how you pulled Palkia and us out of the nightmare. Indeed. I do have the power to dispel darkness. It lets me dispel nightmares and awaken those in deepest sleep. Darkness stands as an opposite to my being. He has the power to shroud those who sleep in nightmare. Markip and Protag. Do you recall where you met my imposter? The imposter, that is to say, the first Cresselia you met. Those encounters were always within dreams, weren't they? That's... that's true. <coughs> it's true. The first time was in a dream. Then later on, came to think of it. I cannot fathom how you've come here, but I find your visit ever so convenient. I long to meet both of you. That time I wasn't dreaming, so I guess it never occurred to me. But I realized that was in a surprise nightmare. In other words, it was still in a dream. Then the next time we met, it was in Palkia's nightmare. That first Cresselia, we encountered her only in dreams. Dark Ray has the power to create realistic illusions. What Dark Ray was doing? Was using his illusion to make you think you were seeing me. It was all an elaborate ruse to get out you, Protek and Markip, so that your whole existence could be eliminated. What? To eliminate Protek and Markip? From this world? Eliminate? Those two? Well, it's shocking that he wanted to get rid of you. But why would Dark Ray pull something so complicated? Why go to all the trouble of using a Cresselia imposter? Wouldn't it be faster to confront them directly in battle? I would guess that it was all out of fear of Protag and Markiv. Dark Ray was afraid of me and Protag? Yes, because Protag and Markiv say the world once before. That was when they prevented the collapse of Temple Tower. But who was really the one that put the ruin of Temple Tower in motion? Who was it that really sought the to put the planet into paralysis? It was none other than Darkrai. What? Darkrai was behind the crisis of Temple Tower? Yep, sounds like it. Darkrai intends to shroud the world in darkness. 
and Darkra failed to do that with the destruction of Temple Tower. After that failure, he turned his attention to the distortion of space itself. If the distortion of space were to grow, Darkra's power to create nightmares would also grow. What he sought to do was envelop all Pokemon in a nightmare. It was all Darkra's doing. He was making the distortion of space expand. Darkra was doing that? Isn't the space distortion expanding because of our existence? It is true that your existence is causing a space distortion. But the distortion you cause is extremely small. Furthermore, your distortion of space won't expand on its own. Then, yes, the expanding distortion of space has nothing to do with you. It was blamed on you, however, so that you would be eliminated. It was all a part of Dark Rush's elaborate deception. Oh, Brodak. I... I... I'm so glad. We're not... Beings that must not exist. It's okay for us to live in this world. We're not unwanted. Markip. I don't know what you two went through. But... It's just not possible for either of you, Markip and Protag, to be unwanted in this world. If either of you went away, it would make me sad. I think everyone at the guild will be sad too. It makes us happy that you're with us, Markip and Protag. That's the reason that's reason enough. To keep existing. Weekly death. More than that. It's not just Markip or Protag. Everyone here. All the Pokemon in the world. None of their lives is without meaning. So never think that you're not wanted ever again. Stay full of cheer, alright? Oh, thank you, Willy Duff. Hey, hey, what's talk about dirty and dishonest? The darkest piece of work. He never comes out in the open. He does his nefarious work from the shadows. If you confront him, he will always flee. That is how Darkrai has always done things. But Darkrai is doing something so unlike him right now. He has invited Market and Product to confront him. It's true. Darkrai left this part in words. You are more than welcome to try and stop me. Come to me in the Dark Raider. You too. I shall be waiting in the Dark Raider. Dark Crater. Dark Ray told us to go to the Dark Crater, and that he will be waiting for us. Cresselia, you believe that he demanded market and product come to him for a reason, don't you? Do you believe that it's a trap? Yes, it's a trap, without a doubt. It doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. He wouldn't stop Dark Ray, he'll smother the whole world with darkness. We have to do something. We're going to the Dark Crater. Okay. I respect your decision. I will accompany you. I have long been aware of Darkrai's scheme. I have pursued him a long time to thwart his plan. But every time I caught up to him, he would elude me. This time, he's waiting for us. I would like to settle this once and for all. I'll go too. Me too. Yep, yep, I'll go, by golly. I'm delighted by everyone's offer to help. I'm afraid that Darkrai will be scared off if too many of us were to go. This is a rare chance to corner Darkrai and stop his nefarious scheme. Please, be content with just the three of us going. Aww, that's too bad. But I have to say you're all, all alright. Don't worry everyone, we'll be sure to defeat Darkrai and come back. Yes, you do that. If anyone can, it's you. You all take care, by golly. Everyone, thank you. Let's go. Let's go to the Dark Crater, where Dark Ray awaits us. Alright. To the northwest of here, there is a land of volcanic terrain. The Dark Crater is located there. Please tell me when you're ready to leave. I will guide you to the Dark Crater. Okay. We are pretty much ready. We just need to open boxes, use the gummies, all of that. Malevolent and darkness. The darkness spread and deepens. Its progress can be halted, yes. 
but only by you. As I lack this of you, stop dark quest future of nightmares. All right. Okay, guys, we'll go to the last dungeon. The very last dungeon of the boss game. And after that, it will be over. We'll finally finish this game. I heard you have to face a tough enemy. But you too can do it. You are sure to win. Don't lose faith. Okay. Let me store stuff. Alright. Okay, store away. And let me organize all of this. There we go. Alright, Geklan. I will wish for your success, Brodak and Markiv. Alright. Anything? Ooh. Yes. One that. Okay. Please don't suck up to anyone bad. Go forward to victory. Fight, fight. Okay. Yeah. Sleep talk. Eh. Alright. Next stop. The cafe. Spin the cafe. Use the gummies. Then we'll check on the cauldron real quick. Do a quick save. I will go to the dark crater. Okay. Red gummy first. For me. All right. <coughs> Good feeling about the drink. Defense by one and in IQ increase again. Uh, all right. Pink for me. Come on. Also differs to you by that case over there. The hymno. What about hymno? What is the fan act? From a hymno. Okay. I guess. Okay, and last one. Markip, for you. Okay, defense by one. Okay, next up. The cauldron. Krogan's cauldron. Let's see if there's anything good there. You can fail now. Okay. Hmm. Nope. We already have that. Illusion bow? No. Okay, nothing then. Alright. Let's just do a quick save then. Save and continue. We go to Griselia. Are you ready to go to the Dark Crater? Ready. Very well. Let us be on our way. Off we go to the Dark Crater. Okay. Dark Crater. Uh, 30 floors. With a midway point halfway through. Got it. So, this is the entrance to the Dark Crater. Here we face Darkrai. 
There is no telling what he has in store for us. We must proceed with the utmost care. Okay. Okay, we cannot check on Chrysalis moves. A shame. Oh well. Oh, maybe not was wasn't the best choice. But oh well. Okay. Second floor. Ow. Man, lots of fire types indeed. There are lots of fire types. Good thing that I have my gift. stairs. Now oh, there they are. Okay, third floor. I didn't realize that was lava. I didn't realize we can walk through lava. <laughs> Whoops. Mistake on my part. Okay. Let me guess, it's going to be in the very last room. Yep, it was in the very last room that we checked. Okay, let's go check here. Nope. There you are. Alright. Fifth floor. And sixth floor. Right away. Perfect. And seventh floor. 
What is your ability anyway? Can we check that? No. Yeah, that doesn't work. Unfortunately. Okay, nothing here either. Okay. Getting hungry, yeah, I imagine. I uh, imagine, and I've seen another combuscan. Ah, okay. Okay, let's just go over here. There you are. Ninth floor. Come on. There we go, tenth floor. Okay. Eleventh floor. Come on. We're getting to the halfway point. Come on. Wake up. There we go. And we fell asleep again. Come on. Twelfth floor. Only two pocket dollars, really. Thirteenth floor, almost there for the halfway point. Okay, let me drink a max elixir. Blue gummy, but it's sticky.
Okay, dead end. Well, only one place to go then. Ow. Now we really need to hurry. Not here. Wrong direction then. Okay, level forty five for Markip. Come on. There we go. There you are. Yes, getting hungry, I know, I know. Okay, 15th floor. Cargo. No, okay. Dead end. Radar orb. Just another dead end here. Just one dead end after dead end. And dead end. Let's just move. Move, 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 move. Move. Perfect. Yes. Proceed. There we go. Oh boy. We got it. Halfway point. Quick save. We are pretty much reaching the end now. We got 15 floors left. Let's do this. Let's finish this. Deep dark crater. Come on. Uh, okay. Flame wheel. You can, I have an ability that absorbs fire. Focus punch. Well, at least there aren't that many. Okay, but the mm, that is worrying. Let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Okay. 
Let's just go. I don't ignore the gummies. I have we have already enough. Okay. Cool lava to move damage. Okay, extra sensory. Perfect. All right, third floor. Okay, Kulava. Nope. Okay. Mm, a bit of money, I guess. Uh, okay, I've seen the stairs right there. I'm pretty sure those are the stairs. Yep. Full floor. Okay, you missed. There we go. We pass over the max leaks here. So let's swap over the focus patch. Yeah. Alright. Fifth floor. Okay. Come on. Okay, don't need that. All right. Six floor. We're getting there quickly than expected. <laughs> yeah, it is a camera. Okay. Ow. Yeah, the camera seems to be the one to be worried about for me. And the drafts. Seventh floor, come on. The lotion. Okay, eighth floor. Okay, just dead ends here. Hi. Okay. Extreme speed. Okay, tenth floor. We're getting there very quickly. Come on, cause I'll be over here. There we go. Eleventh floor, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the fifteenth floor this. Oh. 
Wait, I see that one. Okay, to the other side. Hello. Okay, nothing here then, then down. Yeah. Twelfth floor. Getting hungry. I know. Uh, we fell asleep. But we woke up. Okay. <coughs> okay, forty five. All right. Well, then let's go to this area then. Okay, 13 floors, we might need to eat, we're going to eat an apple then, I still have some way to go. Okay, flame thrower for you. <laughs> okay. Fourteen floor, almost there. One more floor, come on. Just one more. Hi. Okay. There we go. There we go. Dark Crater Pit. We arrived. This is the end. Man, it's a dead end. This appears to be the deepest we can go. But where's Dark Cry? You've kept me waiting. Dark Cry. Good of you to come, Marky and Pro Deck. What do you keep after us? You don't even know us. I know you all too well. You especially, Brodak. What? When you came to this world with Grobile, you were caught up in an accident. Accident? Oh, that's right. Grobile wants to explain it. We had an accident traveling back in time. The storm. Uh, are you okay? No, don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, I can't. Hold on. The storm. Yes, you and Grover had an accident while traveling through time. You became separated as a result of it. You were also transformed from a human into a Pokemon. And you lost your memory as well. Has it not occurred to you how that uh, how odd that accident was? So it was you? Is that what you're telling me? It was you all this time? <laughs> how odd? Yes. Then how the accident occurred. 
precisely when you and Global were traveling through time. That fails to strike you as odd. Darkrai? Darkrai, you know something about it? Naturally. That very accident was caused by none other than myself. What? What did you say? My wish is to engulf this world in darkness. I set my sights on Dialga's temporal tower because of his tie to time. <coughs> I sabotaged temporal tower. That would have eventually led to the destruction of time, and ultimately, the planet's paralysis. However, Global and Prodac decided to meddle. I learned of their impending arrival from the future, and I attacked Global and Prodac as they traveled in time, so that I would be rid of them. But, an unforeseen event made it impossible to be rid of either of them. It should have been enough. Especially for Grovile. However, do you know how you became to, a po to be a Pokemon, Prodac? During the accident, you shielded Grovile from my attack. I shielded Grovile? Yes, you absorbed the brunt of the attack I intended for Grovile. It appears your fierce will to protect your partner became entangled with the many dimensions during your time travel. As a result, you were transformed into a Pokemon. I did that? I assumed that what I did was su sufficient. I thought that I'd render you incapable of preventing the planet's paralysis. However, I underestimated your resourcefulness. You met me at Kip, and I two of you stopped the destruction of Temple Tower because I underestimated the disreg and disregarded how much you would meddle. My original plan ended in failure. That's why. That's why you decided to get rid of product and market first this time. So there wouldn't be an impediment to your scheming. That's why you tried to break the spirit, even going so far as to use an imposter of me. Even now, you lure us here, so you could be rid of us all in one fell swoop. Very good. I did indeed intend to do just what you said. But, I've had a change of heart. So, Brodak, Markiv, both of you are brave. You've shown great initiative. To be rid of you forever seems like a tragic waste. You both shown so much promise. Why not join me? What? Why not join me in ruling a world full of darkness? What? Rule the world with dark cry? It is entirely possible if we three band together. Well, will you join me? Oh, Prodak, Markiv, don't believe his lies. Markiv, are you listening? Maybe Darkrai is right. No, Markiv. What are we kidding? We don't stand a chance to get Darkrai anyway. It's pointless to resist. Joining Darkrai. It may be the best thing to do. Markip, why? <laughs> you chose wisely, Markip. Very practical of you. No, Prodak. What will you do when you're one of us? Our first order of business will be Griselia there. The three of us shall get rid of her together. What did you say? No, Prodak. Come, join us here. Don't go. Prodek. Please, come here, Prodek. Markiv. If you won't join us, Darkrai surely won't want just me. He'll get rid of me. Markiv. <laughs> Your choice, Prodek. Will you join us? The world of darkness is going to be wonderful, Prodek. You see? Your trusted partner has seen the truth. Come, will you not rule the world with us? And you shall. Reign as lord in the world of darkness. Now, Brodak, consider your answer carefully. Join me and Markiv. We'll rule the world together. I refuse. Do that. I refuse. 
This is all. This is all. This is all a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, protect. Oh, protect. You. I was right. I was being deceived. Dark was showing me an illusion. That was close. Blasted. I was on the verge of success. Is that your answer, Flodek? Of course. Marky would never consider been saying something like that. You and with Darkrai? Not in my life. A wall of darkness. I won't let it happen. Hmm. <laughs> so be it. You've made the wrong choice. There's nothing left to say. I will be rid of you now. Holy! What? We're surrounded. I knew it. I figured that you would do something like this. Say what you will. This is where I will finally be rid of you meddlers. I will seize control of the darkened world. As its king. This is it. Attack! Oh boy. Okay, there goes one. Wonderful. Uh, Fain attack for you. There goes my cargo. Okay, there goes Akron. Ouch. Uh, yeah, extra sensory. There we go. Okay. There they go. Now it's your turn. Can I put you to sleep, I wonder? Yeah. We can put you to sleep. Okay, flamethrower. Double team. Come on. Hypnosis. Damn it. All right. Flame thrower. Another. Come on. At this point, we need to use Faint Attack at this point. This is the last one. We failed to throw it. Come on! There we go! We just needed one last hit! Gah! Ah! Uh, we did it! Uh, this is the end for you, Darkrai! Ugh! Cresselia! Don't you remember? I said you! Cannot catch me! Hey, what is that? It's a dimensional hole. <laughs> this dimensional hole may take me to the future. Or the past. Even I don't know where it will lend me. But, I fell only this time. 
I will simply crush the world into darkness in another time. Stop! Dark cry! You are not getting away. Ah. <laughs> Too bad for you. I can slip away through time with just one step. You cannot catch me. Oh. Goodbye to you. <laughs> well, how do you like that? Finally in the end. It ends in my ultimate victory. I won't allow that. What? You are... Palkia. You will pay a great price for expanding the distortion of, sp uh, of space. Dark Rai. This is a strike for justice. Take this. What? What? Ah. There is no escape. Gah. Ow. The dimensional hole. The dimensional hole completely shattered. With Darkrai still inside of it. I heard Darkrai scream. Did Darkrai disappear forever? No. That has not happened. He has suffered grievous damage and been banished to some unknown place. But wherever he may be, he lives. When he recovers from injury, won't Darkrai go back to his wicked ways? That remains to be seen. Because when Darkrai entered the dimensional hole, he began to time travel. At that precise moment, he was struck with Palkia's attack. Remember what Darkrai said about Product's arrival from the future? Darkrai attacked during time travel. So Brodak got hit with amnesia. So just like Brodak, it's likely that Darkrai has lost his memory as well. Darkrai has lost his memory? Yes. Darkrai will likely never recover his memory. And he will wander lost through the world. Darkrai. We are done with him. He will not likely expand the distortion of space again. I will return to Special Rift. I foresee no reason to ever return here. Farewell. And off he goes. Well, that is that. Shall we also go back? Yes. Let's go home. Back to Treasure Town. And that's how our fight against Darkrai ended. When we returned to Treasure Town, we were thrilled by how excited everyone was at our return. We had been fully fooled by Darkrai, so I had thought that neither Product nor I had a place in this world. But when everyone surrounded us and was glad to see us back, that's when I finally thought, it's wonderful to be alive. Little sorry for coming his nightmare. I'm so glad that everyone was well. I remember what Willy Duff said. Every Pokemon in the world exists for a reason. Even the ones that mean harm to others. Even that dark ride. After all this, my adventures with Product will continue. I will see many things. I will make new discoveries. We have gone back to Luminous Springs as then. But we still can evolve there. However, we can exist here. We can live here. And that alone is something that we should be happy and grateful about. That's what I finally learned. Yes, Brodak. Thank you for always being with me. Let's keep on exploring. May our friendship last forever. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, of course. We did a good job. The next morning... Good morning! Let's make it another great day! And yeah, that is it. This is it. We did all the boss game. Oh hey! Thanks to you, Dragon Markiv, that Darkrai was stopped from carrying on out his wicked scheme. My job here is done. Sincerely, thank you. Cresselia, what about you? What are your plans now? I've pondered many possibilities. 
May I join Team Pokeballs? Oh, what? Cresselia, in our exploration team. If I'm not a burden, I very much hope that you will accept me in your team. Would you have me? You must be joking. You're the last Pokemon I consider a burden. We are honored to have you. Right? As a Cresselia as a team member? Yes. Oh no. Cresselia is fine. Thank you so much. Oh, you bet, Cresselia. Thank you for joining us. Cresselia joined the team. Yay! Okay. We are... We are done. <laughs> Pretty much done. We have a lot of boxes, though. You know what? That's the last thing to do. The darkness. The malevolent darkness has melted away. It is your doing. You have my thanks. Fire Blast. That's a good move. Or sounds like a good move. X-ray specs. Cyndaclaw. Quillacard. Sneasel Claw. Sneasel. Junior Beam. For my junior. I imagine. Gumbus Claw. And last one. Marl Car. Alright. Uh, fire Blast. Info. Move inflicts damage on the target. It may also inflict the targeted enemy with a burn status condition. Ethos and freeze frozen Pokemon. Hmm. Enemy in front cast corner, so we can use this. It's we can exchange Ember instead. Yeah. We can exchange Ember then. Okay, we'll store everything else. Well, aren't you impressive? My dears, I love the both of you as if you were my own children. Well, we are pretty much done now, so let's just store everything that we can. Okay, from here. Boop. There we go. Store it away. And let's organize it. Let's put everything organized. At least. Ah, yes, I've heard. You defeated Darkrai? That's the product and Marky Bar Revere. So fantastic. Okay, anything you have. Just in case. Ah, not really. Okay. And you? Ah, the returning heroes of Team Pokeballs. I thank you sincerely for stopping the spreading nightmare. Do you have anything? Wait. Uh, nah. Okay. Let's just use the gummies then. <coughs> Spirito. You first just at the right time, held the stretch Pokemon. Ah, okay. Yeah, one of the treasures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll take it. Nah, no, or not. You wanna take it? So what am I supposed to do with this then? Never mind. <laughs> we don't we're not even going to do that anyway. Blue gummy for market. Yes. Okay. Sharpshooter. Okay, we'll check what it is. One for me. And it's done. Okay. Defense by one. 
And I guess the orange is coming for me too, I guess. Alright. Shake it this way, shake it that way, stir it all around and it's done. Trap avoider. Hmm. Sounds like something good. Uh no. Here. Let's check. Trap avoider. Info. The Pokemon avoids stepping on visible traps and wonder tiles when walking. Hmm. I see. And sharpshooter. Boost the critical ra hit ratio so the Pokemon's move and attacks. Ah. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's check in the cauldron. And you know what? Why not check on the luminous spring? I think we're gonna evolve by now. Probably. So who knows? Maybe we can just check there. One last time. Alright, do you have any good item? No surfer, no. No. Speed scarf. We already have that. Mm. Nah. We don't have anything. Oh well. Why not check on Lumina Spring then? Who knows? Maybe we can evolve. Not me though. I need a fire stone too. But I don't have that. So, uh, maybe Market can evolve. Uh, where are you? Luminous Spring. Let's check. Let's take a look then. Let's have a check. This place has no purpose to you. Be gone. <laughs> okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh well. Well. That's it. We're done. We completed all the boss game. Look at that. We completed all the boss game. We completed all the special episodes. Yeah. We are. Uh, we're done. Man. I think I thought it would take this, this, this stream alone. But I guess that will be it. Yeah. I guess that is it for the stream. We completed the entirety of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. Post game, the special episodes. And we must done all the important parts, that is. We are done. That's it. Well, but I had a good time. It was a good time to remember the good old days when I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon when I was young, little on my Nintendo DS. So yeah, it was fun. Had a great nostalgic time. But that will be it for today and for this week. Next week, probably we'll continue with the FGO. Uh, we'll farm Christmas and A. It starts next week on the 14th on Tuesday or Wednesday for me, I suppose. I guess for me it would start on Wednesday because time zones. But uh, yeah, although we need to see what other game we can play. I may have an idea though. But we'll see. Maybe I'll make a poll on something later on Twitter. So you better check that out. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next week, around the same time as always, 4 p.m. GMT plus two plus one time. Figure out where I live, whatever time it is where you live. See you guys next week. Bye bye.